Hello everyone. Today I have with me Dr. Nikhil Kamli from India with the, in regards to the book Inspirational Talk. And I, we also have Professor Regina from Brazil. So Dr. Nikhil, what you wanted to say in regards to self-improvement? Um, uh, one of the things that uh, we, uh, we learn as humans is uh, how to progress in our lives. So um, one of the things that, the thing that motivates us to progress. And so as we proceed ahead, we have to keep on uh, doing ourselves with regard to our health, with regard to our lifespan. It's about continuously learning new and new things. So it is a journey. It is a journey of us as human beings, our thought processes, as to some extent and a lot of extent, uh, our uh, spiritual thoughts. And uh, and that's how we progress. And for that, we have to keep on continuously learning new things, rejecting the old patterns, rejecting the old thought processes, and we have to proceed ahead. So I guess every day we should ideally try to uh, improve ourselves. Very nice. And uh, Professor Regina, would you like to say anything in addition to Dr. Nikhil said? Absolutely. In this Bhagavad Gita, the, it was printed by Madras in Malapore in year 1939. I have learned from the Gita, which was the book from uh, Gandhiji, Mohanda Karashangan Gandhiji, and uh, also at his bed desk. And uh, it's, I learned seven lessons. It's not for victimizing your own self. We must be responsible. And the pain that comes with karma, it's a vehicle of our own consciousness so we can step up, be a better person. Second thing, something that never became never will be because if you're for instance you lost your job the husband left you a friend pulled away it was not meant to be with you at all times what matters is eternal it's quite impactant because uh, god created us in taking care of our lives. So what's not good for us, he takes away gently and smoothly out of our path. Another thing I learned from the Bhagavad Gita, what is real and is what, how we handle things. Everything else is Maya, it's illusion. So do, we must do within our reach all good things and beyond our reach we know all our thoughts our prayers they are heard so we can know for sure that all the good will happen in god's time i was born on seven months so i want everything for yesterday i'm always in a rush but I learned to deal with God's wills. And I learned to be patient. I learned to be at peace. Something else I learned from the Bhagavad Gita. Watch our thoughts. Life is in a constant movement. It can add or subtract the results in our evolution. But once we reach the knowledge we achieve the Dharma, we can progress. As Dr. Nikhil just said, Lord Krishna said, inactivity does not take to perfection. Yes, of course, we must train, practice, study, and do all the self-improvements 
within our grasps so we can be a better version of ourselves today better than yesterday and tomorrow better than today. The sixth uh, lesson I learned is the decision that be better is always ours. It's not about the circumstances. It's us through our free will that choose the knob and open the door. And the last thing I learned from the Bhagavad Gita is that all battles are won. Nature does not fail. We decide when and where to reach there because the victory is part of who we are. God made us perfect, and we must improve ourselves to reach that perfection he expects patiently from us. Thank you ever so much for your time and your precious attention and undivided attention. Thank Love you so you. much, um, Regina. It was a wonderful, nice message from Bhagavad Gita. And again, these inspirational talks, book inspirational talks are for to inspire and provide moral support to stage four cancers or any persons with terminal illness. We wanted to give them, inspire them with the hope that uh, um, they will be fine and so much to learn from the world. And as far as the self-improvement or being the positive attitude and whatever you have mentioned, that what happens to us might be less, but the way how we react, it all depends. And with the hope and the, our thoughts make big difference in who we are and what we are. That was nice. And um, Dr. Nikhil, you want to wrap up anything before we end this one? Uh, one of the core uh, uh, things of Bhagavad Gita is about recognition of oneself, of who we, who we are and how uh, our actions uh, are. Not, our actions are the only things we have with ourselves because the rest is not up to us. One of the things that is uh, most important of Bhagavad Gita is speaks about is about non-attachment to things, to our actions. Um, some more, most of the time uh, we say that we did this, we did that, we did this, but in return we got only X, Y, Z, or we got only uh, this kind of behavior from other people. But what happens in real life that it is already decide, it is already a uh, what is there in us is how to act the next time. One of the, it's about attachment. It, means, it speaks about attachment, the, especially to the emotions and to the events. That keeps us bound. That keeps us engaged. That keeps us in this circle of uh, life, or you can call it the circle of birth and rebirth again and again. And it's only when we break free and when we recognize of who we are and uh, that is the time when we start making a spiritual progress. So the idea is from breaking free ourselves from one cycle onto the next. So uh, uh, the, at one of the core principles of Bhagavad Gita will always remain of uh, attachment and how to disengage ourselves from this uh, world of Maya or illusion. Beautiful. Thank you so much, it. Dr. Nikhil. Exactly, that's true. We have to be unattached without any expectation. And I always use the word unconditional friendship, unconditional love. That way we will be free from things and no expectation, no pain, no suffering. <laughs> Pain and suffering comes only when there is attachment and expectation. Thank you all for being here and see you all again next time. Until then, stay healthy and happy.